Introducing the Chesapeake Anterior Lumbar Stabilization System from K2M. Complex Spine Innovation. Chesapeake is a multi-screw construct providing stability to the anterior column while reducing the need for supplemental fixation in the lumbar spine. Featuring the revolutionary Typhix locking technology, the system exemplifies advances in new and innovative instrumentation and technology required to achieve fusion. The Chesapeake Anterior Lumbar Set is designed to facilitate a direct anterior surgical approach. A selection of disc preparation instruments are available in the K2M Anterior Lumbar Preparation Instrument Set to perform a complete discectomy. Disc removal and initial preparation of the end plates may be achieved by using various forward and angled cup style curettes. A variety of rongeurs, rasps, osteotomes and cobs are also available to help prepare and decorticate the vertebral end plates before inserting the interbody. Adequate preparation of the end plates is important to promote vascular supply to the implant. Next, to determine the size of the interbody, utilize the trials which are available in 5 degrees, 10 degrees, and 15 degrees of lordosis. Load the appropriate trial onto the distal end of the trial inserter. Turn the thumb wheel on the proximal end of the trial inserter clockwise to secure. Trials are undersized by 0.5 millimeter to allow for a slight press fit of the respective implant. If the trial appears to be too small, gradually increase the size until a secure fit is achieved. Chesapeake anterior lumbar implants are available in 24 by 30 millimeter and 28 by 36 millimeter footprints in heights ranging from 11 to 19 millimeters in 2 millimeter increments. Each footprint has lordotic options of 5, 10, and 15 degrees and can be easily identified by color-coded Typhix inserts. The anterior insertion ramp utilizes a controlled threaded mechanism which provides parallel distraction, resulting in a zero impact load on the interbody. Hold the instrument vertically to allow the distraction ramps to open naturally. Insert the inner shaft through the proximal end of the inserter and rotate clockwise one to two turns to engage the threads. Place the Chesapeake modular tip over the inner shaft. Turn the shorter of the two knurled thumb wheels counterclockwise and finger tighten until the threads disappear and components mate flush. Place the selected interbody onto the distal end of the Chesapeake modular tip. Turn the knob at the proximal end of the inner shaft clockwise to engage the interbody. Adjust the countersink depth on the anterior insertion ramp by rotating the larger knurled thumb wheel behind the countersink depth bar on the Chesapeake modular tip. Countersink may be adjusted from 0 to 6 millimeters. Rotate the anterior insertion ramp 180 degrees to close the distraction ramps. The anterior wall of the implant is marked with two arrows to indicate the orientation of the screws. Place the distal end of the distraction ramps into the disc space until the vertebral body stops make contact with the anterior portion of the vertebrae. Turn the T-handle clockwise to advance the implant into the disc space. When the countersink depth bar makes contact with the vertebral bodies, the anterior insertion ramp will begin to remove itself from the disc space while implanting the interbody according to the preset countersink depth. Turn the knob at the proximal end of the inner shaft counterclockwise to disengage the interbody. Remove the anterior insertion ramp from the surgical wound. Alternatively, if impaction is desired, the Chesapeake straight inserter may be used. 
Once the Chesapeake inner body is properly positioned, a spring-loaded punch may be used to aid in creating initial pilot holes. Choose the three-barrel drill guide of the corresponding implant height. Attach to the drill guide inserter by pulling back on the outer shaft of the instrument and matching up the flats to lock in place. Insert the guide into the implant, making sure to match up the markings for correct screw orientation. Next, turn the handle clockwise to lock the drill guide into the implant. The barrels are fixed at a 40 degree trajectory and accommodate the awl, drill, tap and driver. A single barrel drill guide is also available if desired and accommodates the awl and tap. Screw preparation may be performed using a variety of awls, drills and taps through the three barrel drill guide. All are available in both fixed and universal joint options. Use the universal awl to establish a path for the screw. Next, a drill may be used to continue screw preparation. All screw preparation instruments are restricted at a depth of 20 millimeters through the guide. 5.5 diameter screws are available in 20, 25, or 30 millimeter lengths and are color coded for ease of identification. The screws are self tapping. However, the tap may be inserted at the same angulation at which it was drilled to tap the vertebral bodies. Once proper screw preparation has been completed, attach the selected screw to the T20 driver. Tapered drivers are indicated by two green rings around the proximal end of the instrument shaft. Insert the screw through the guide. When the screw head engages on the locking lip of the Tyfix insert, the Tyfix insert will lag down to the bone and the revolutionary Tyfix locking technology will commence. Due to a difference in material hardness and design, the screw head begins to deform the Tyfix insert through a reshaping process and thus forms an autogenic lock. Once all screws have been inserted and proper screw positioning has been verified via intraoperative radiographs, the final screw locking can occur using the non-tapered driver attached to the torque limiting handle. The torque limiting handle emits an audible click at 20 inch-pounds to indicate that the autogenic lock has formed. Use of the torque limiting handle further assures that the screw is not over tightened. No additional locking step is required. If realignment of the screws is desired after final locking, the screw may be locked and unlocked up to three times without compromising the locking mechanism. Perform a standard multi-layer wound closure. The Chesapeake Anterior Lumbar Stabilization System from K2M Complex Spine Innovations